Hello everyone, welcome to Medieval Makings Part 2. We're only a couple of days away from Easter now and I've been furiously sewing and playing with power tools to make sure everything is done. I've got one little job left to do, so whilst I'm doing that, why don't you have a look at what else I've been up to? More medieval makings. This is the easel that I have made which will support my medicine cabinet. It was made in pine and I have stained it to look like Jacobean oak. This is my new medicine cabinet. It looks a little bit sparse but at least that means that the public can get in and reach the bottles without knocking lots of things over. I've got the information about medieval medicine stapled to the doors. This is my latest project. This is the swing coat for the adopted son. As you can see we're in house colours, purple and black. Collar is the same as my coat dress because I used the same pattern but this particular coat just goes straight out from underneath the armpits which means the bottom of it is huge. It comes roughly mid-calf and it has to be worn with a nice thick belt round the waist otherwise it looks really shapeless and horrible. Since we've now gone up in the world, um, I've added some fur to the hood of my cloak and some braid down the front, which is an instant status razor. How are you doing? His best mysterious stare. Um, just a little bit of fur around the edge of his hood. Again, instant status razor. We've been given a new flagpole for the camp, a very fancy one, so I've had to make a pennant to go on it. What is the difference between a pennant and a flag, you may ask? This is the difference. The pennant has the pointy bits on the bottom. They can sometimes come out sideways. If you're on horseback and you're riding, you want the pointy bits streaming. Now this will hang on our new flagpole. It was suggested that we extend our fire awning which is what we're in the process of doing. You can see the extremely bright white new canvas at the end and we're in the process of making the centre poles. We've uh, got a sleeve in the middle to fix them together and then we've got to cut them down to the right length. That's it. The last little bits all finished. These are to go on hubby's gauntlets. I will sew them on when I get down there. Other than that, what hasn't been done doesn't get done. The house is in uproar. There is a futon mattress and a large pile of weaponry where our dining table should be. That's because the dining table is at the bottom of a big pile of stuff in the back of the van. This lot will be going in first thing in the morning. We didn't fancy leaving the weapons in the van overnight just in case it got broken into. Here you can see a, a longsword, a scimitar, a couple of walking staffs, a couple of bow staffs and in the cases are mine and hubby's longbows. The van is full to the gunnels with all kinds of boxes and tents and heaven only knows what. Tomorrow is Monday Thursday, unfortunately I have to work so hubby and BFG are going down tomorrow to set the camp up. My self-adopted son and my niece are going down on Friday and hopefully little sis will be joining us at some point on Saturday night. Once again, I will leave the link in the description box below. It would be really lovely to see you if you'd like to come up and say hello. You can't miss us. We are the camp in the purple and black. If we don't see you, have a lovely Easter and until the next time, take care. Bye.